There was some concern after about 300 trout were found dead at Manaway Reservoir last October after a pilot treatment to control the algae blooms. Chris says the die-off affected mostly rainbow trout and the bass and bluegill seem to be doing just fine. It was on our schedule to go out and check out, but ap after that treatment last year, we wanted to come out this spring and check it out, see how everything was doing. And really, our, our assessment is it's looking fantastic. We saw some really great bluegill. Bass looked really healthy. Everything appeared to be in order. And we actually did have trout that survived from last year as well. So fish kill, very, very minor, mostly on the trout end of what we stocked. Um, overall, that treatment seemed to be fairly positive. It's not one that we conducted. One thing that we've kind of had our eye on over the years is the algae was really kind of picking up steam there at Manaway. One of the concerns there is that if that algae gets abundant enough and dominant enough, it can actually shade out a lot of the, what we call macrophytes or submerged vegetation. When that happens, the reservoir can actually flip to that state and stay in that state, and it's much less productive when that happens. Nice. And so we were actually kind of excited to see what we saw last yep. fall where that water got really clear for some time and hopefully God. handed a little bit of that edge back to the submerged plants. But yeah, overall, uh, nothing to worry about. Everything actually looks really good. I wish anglers would have had a nice ice fishing season out there, but with a little bit of the pressure off that place during the winter, those bluegill looked really fantastic this spring. So great opportunities there.